Hey everybody, just wanted to give you a bit of an update. I'm alive and fine, no issues. Personally or the property wise, uh, rode it out pretty easily. Uh, on the adventure scale, it was probably about a two. Uh, staying at that synagogue, which was a concrete bunker. Couldn't even tell there was a storm going on. So after the sun went down, probably 10 to 11 o'clock, went to sleep, got up about seven. I had the storm pass through about 10-ish. Uh, even when that was passing through, people were out and about walking around. So it definitely wasn't as bad as people assumed it would be. Really no storm surge that uh, came about on either side of the island. So minimal damage in that regards. Uh, I wouldn't believe the hype at all in regards to what's on the media. I'm sure that they've focused a lot on this horrible damage, but it realistically is not that bad. Um, I have to assume that they really had to go out of their way to try to find some real serious damage. Um, in Key West, there's very minimal. I mean, tree damage, yes. Tons of branches and all that stuff came down. Uh, a few big trees came down, but uh, realistically, they didn't cause a lot of damage, which was weird. Even down to that car level, I could only find a couple that had some minor damage, but no houses imploded, that kind of stuff. Realistically, the way you could look at it is that we have uh, flood-prone areas, and those areas flooded. Big surprise. Um, they would have got the same thing through a class one, class two tropical storm. And then on top of that, you have the older houses and trailers that aren't up to code anymore, that uh, once they're gone, they're not gonna be allowed back. Those got destroyed, definitely. Uh, especially as you go to the lower keys, which is basically up from Key West. Um, had a lot of damage where that I came through, but also because those are a little less quality standards than they do in Key West. So Key West, minimal, minimal damage. Uh, although it's taken about five days, we finally have um, air, um, cell service. That's why I'm going to post this. Otherwise, we don't have power where I'm at. About half the island is uh, come alive. Um, water, we're just getting a couple times a day for like a couple hours. But now the, the uh, gas stations are on. Uh, they're selling gas. Uh, Winn-Dixie opened up and is uh, we're right back to normal. But I'd say about 60% to normal. Once the rest of the island gets power up, uh, get internet up, we're done. Uh, the people that are down here are just basically doing yard work, maintenance, getting things cleaned up, uh, getting back to life. They're not allowing people that that um, left the Keys to come back in yet until they have those services established. So I imagine probably this weekend at the latest Monday, they're gonna open it up and have everybody come back in. But other than that, I'm fine. Everything's good, so uh, appreciate the support. Uh, thanks for watching and I've got a few videos to post about the hurricane but not a lot it's just it was just really uneventful on my side just the same windiness um, drive around see a few trees down and it's just bleh. so I'll post some stuff together and uh, put up a couple videos but otherwise we're gonna get back to fishing because caught my first fish yesterday on day four so that was good so anyways thanks for watching and I will see you next video bye